If you drive by Beach Pharmacy at the oceanfront, you'll see a mural dedicated to the owner who was murdered there in April. It's brand new, but the history behind the relationship between the painter and the pharmacist is what drew our attention. Here's standing on your side, Stephanie Harris with a story. Just a little bit there to kind of loosen things up. Randy Battaglia's paintbrush glides like a sailboat across the ocean he's painting on the side of Beach Pharmacy. But the circumstances that put him here are more reflective of the crashing waves. Seeing the, the flowers, and I, I really did. I thought it was a party. Uh, and But then I, I heard the wailing uh, and weeping, and I, I knew something was wrong. Battaglia met David Kilgore about a year ago. Battaglia, a homeless man, came looking for work. The kind pharmacist reached out with an offer that touched his heart and soul. So look at the goosebumps. I mean, they're forming right now. Battaglia created a mural of palm trees. Kilgore paid much more than promised, and the two made a deal that Battaglia would paint a new scene when he returned from visiting family out west. David had care for people, and he didn't, he didn't judge by the outside. Kilgore was murdered during a holdup just the day before Battaglia returned. I've met him a total of seven times and he touched my heart so much in that time that I, I just, I felt compelled to do something for him. He began painting as a gift to repay Kilgore's kindness, but with no home or income, he couldn't afford the paint. So Kilgore's wife, he said, offered to pay. You know, but then later on, I got another guy that came and paid the $200 for her and asked her that, said that she didn't have to pay it. He bought supplies and a bicycle, which he rides from his tent in the woods every morning to the pharmacy. God bless you, my friend. Two weeks he's been working, and he's nearly done. As people pass by and admire the work, Battaglia hopes they see not only the beauty of the scene, but of the man who inspired it. And Battaglia told me that he made a living for 30 years as an artist and became homeless just several years ago as a result of the declining economy. Now he says he's homeless partly by choice. While he still looks for work to buy food and clothes, he does enjoy the freedom and that stress-free lifestyle. Stephanie Harris, Ted on your side.